Hey everybody, Mike here with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how we pour these concrete trenches using a concrete power buggy. We love using power buggies a lot better than wheelbarrowing. These things are great. So in case you don't know me, my name's Mike Day. I own DaysConcreteFloors.com and I also own the website www.EverythingAboutConcrete.com where I try to teach you guys everything I know about concrete. Now we specialize in concrete flat work, floors, slabs, pool decks, patios, stamp concrete, pretty much anything that's flat we do, along with a lot of repair work and a lot of epoxy floors. And that's what this channel is about. So if you like that kind of stuff, go ahead down there and hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell notification. I'm trying to put out two or three of these videos a week so you can stay updated on that. And that's what I do, guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm back. I just had to get a little break there. So what we're doing here is we're filling in these trenches. Somebody else came in and they cut these floors out and they they put in the plumbing. They prepped it for us. All we was hired to do was come in and pour the concrete and then mag it and trowel it smooth. These floors are going to end up being polished when everything's all said and done. So they're going to end up looking pretty nice. Now, as you, they dug down, I don't know, they dug down probably two or three feet to put all that plumbing in. They, they put in, a, in that room in the back where that guy's bringing the wheelbarrow, those are a couple bathrooms. So those floors were all cut up in there. And then out here, they installed three center drains in those squares that we're at. And whatever else that other plumbing's for. So... Somebody else got it ready. They, they backfilled it. They compacted it. They drilled it and pinned it for us. All we had to do was come in and repour it. I thought the best way to repour this thing was using that power buggy. I don't own that. We rent that. But that thing works really good. It holds about 12 wheelbarrows at a time. So it's definitely the way to go. We just couldn't get it in those back doors to those bathrooms. So that's why that guy's wheeling it back there. This thing's pretty fast too. I mean, it, it can hold a lot of concrete. It usually has dual wheels on it, but the last job we used it on about a week ago, we couldn't fit it through a door in there, so the guy took the extra set of wheels off for us. That was pretty cool of him. So there I am, just helping him spread the concrete out. My other guy's magging it. I hope you like my music. Just trying to spi spice up these videos a little bit. Trying to make things exciting and interesting. So look, stay tuned for the end of the video. I've got a special, I've got a special uh, code that I'm going to give you guys for my concrete slab course. It's like 90% off almost for this course. And I'm going to have a code word right at the end of the video that you can go in and, and I'll have a link in the description for my concrete slab course. You type in that, that coupon code word on the checkout and you're gonna get you're gonna it's forty nine dollars regular, you're gonna get forty dollars off. So you're gonna get my concrete slab course for nine bucks. Uh, that, that's a great deal guy. That's I mean we pour a lot of concrete slabs so we set them up, we pour them, we finish them um, but I'm going to show you how to form them up and how to pour them in that slab. So if, if you're interested in that, stay tuned to the end of the video. You won't see the code word till right at the very end. So I got one guy there doing the magging, magging the edges in, magging around all those pipes, magging in around the drains, making sure the pitch is all good. And then I got my other guy trying to finish up those bathrooms. And then I'm running the concrete back and forth with that buggy. And I'm trying to help them level it out a little bit. We put some accelerator in the concrete because it, it was pretty chilly in here. As you can see, well, we're in sweatshirts. 
I don't know, it was probably 45 or 50 degrees inside the building. So in Maine, I mean, in the winter, it gets really cold. A building like this, it doesn't really have the heating system in yet. It has a little bit of heat in there, but we usually put accelerator in the concrete in the winter. So he's got to be about almost done with those bathrooms. He'll be coming out here shortly. So as you can see, we, we're using six inches of concrete. We're pouring a 4,000 PSI concrete mix with the microfiber in it. They didn't really put any other reinforcement in this. They didn't think they needed it other than just drilling it and pinning it to the other slab. We don't do the polishing either. We, we can do polishing, but I just choose not to. That's a whole other animal in itself. I got a good friend that does that, so he'll come in. He'll polish these floors. He'll probably do it in a day or two. He's got some big, big machines to do polishing with. Like I said, this is going to be a brewery. There's a ton of breweries in Maine. If you guys like beer, man, you got to come to Maine. All kinds of breweries. So look, I'm, I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. And when I do, I got, I got some more music I'm going to put on here for you guys. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll be back in a minute. guys I'm back so in case you guys don't know me that's that's me the guy running the power buggy I own the business and these guys work for me they both work for me for a really long time they're they're really good employees they do a great job I've, I've been doing this since the early 80s when I, when I was 15 years old I started doing this and I worked for another guy that did mostly commercial work I worked for him till I was about 20 and then I went in business for myself so that, that's a long time. I've been pouring concrete a really long time. But what we do is we do mostly residential stuff here in Maine. We do some commercial, some smaller commercial stuff. But I, I did all that big stuff when I worked for that other guy those first five years. And I had enough of that. 
working all night, you know, thousand yard pours. It just once you have kids and a family, man, that's not what you want to be doing. So I started my own business and you know, I hired some guys, trained them, and they, we've been doing it ever since. And we have a blast doing it. We get along real good. I don't have to tell these guys what to do. They, they're real courteous, real conscientious. I'm lucky to have two really good guys. I've had up to seven guys before, and that was okay. But it just seemed like I was doing a lot more running than I was making money. So this works pretty good for us. We, we could use one more guy if we could find a good one. Four guys is really good. But, uh, you know, we pour a lot of concrete for just the three of us. Stay tuned, guys. Hey, let me know if you like my music, guys. I'm trying this music thing out just to make things more interesting. Um, let me know what kind of music you like. Maybe I could try that if you don't like the one I have in here. But uh, for those of you guys who do concrete out there, if, if you pour concrete like we do, let me a comment down in the comments and just say concrete. And then for, your, for those of you guys who don't do concrete, but maybe you want to learn about concrete, just put learn down there for me. If you got any questions about how we do things, you know, ask a question down in the comments. I'll I'll answer it back. So we're we're getting close to done here. Like I said, it if you stay tuned to the very end of the video, I've got a code word you're gonna see pop up on the screen. And if you want my concrete slab course where I teach you how to form and pour a concrete slab, you can plug that code word in the coupon code, and you're gonna save just about 90% off my price, guys. So, I mean, that's a great deal. That's a great deal. It's got a 30-day money-back guarantee. So, I mean, you really can't go wrong, especially if you want to learn how to do concrete slabs like we do. There we are. We got it all poured. Now we're just trialing it off. We're going to probably trial this thing four or five times to get it really smooth. That way, when the guy comes to polish it, you know, he's, he's going to be able to polish it pretty nice. Making sure those drains are all cut in really nice. There's not a lot of pitch to those drains, so these guys, I don't know if they're going to end up washing this floor down when they make the beer. If they spill beer on the floor, they'll have to wash it down. But that's it, guys. That power buggy just makes things so much easier. Like I said, I don't own that. I rent it when we need it. So we use that, we use that quite a bit when we can't get a concrete truck back to where we need to. Uh, we use a pump truck every once in a while too, but just to rent that power buggy, I mean, it's it's a hundred bucks for the day. It's like seventy five for a half a day, so you, you can't go wrong with that. This was about seven, I think, seven or eight yards of concrete. So it takes about ten wheelbarrows per yard of concrete, full wheelbarrows. So I had one guy probably wheel about twelve of them, so that would have been about another seventy wheelbarrows. All right, guys, we're getting there. If uh, if any of you guys if any of you guys out there do concrete, like I said, leave, leave me a leave me a comment down there that says concrete. And if you know how to finish, if you know how to hand trial like we're doing, I've got some other videos about about different finishing techniques you can check out. One's about finishing by hand, one's about grooving, one's about edging, and uh, how to broom concrete around a pool, how to broom concrete for a patio. Check that out. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate you watching. Go down there and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you on the next video.